Alright guys, what is up? My name's Jacob, welcome to the channel, welcome to the video. Today's video, I'm going to discuss, after being in a six month bodybuilding prep, having competed twice this year, uh, and sitting at this moment, three weeks post show, I'm going to discuss the positives and negatives of getting to 5% body fat, what it really feels like being 5% body fat. Um, this is a, in a shredded state, okay, you've got no lower belly fat, uh, no love handles, everything's nice and tight, whenever you take in carbohydrates you can actually see a result from that pretty much instantly, uh, you get veins up your stomach, okay. In my next video I'm actually going to talk about the physical changes I notice or physical um, I guess you'd call them indications on my body personally that tend to change and come in, lines come in, you know, places lean out, veins come in. Indications that I'm getting towards this 5% body fat um, level that I'm going to discuss today. But whilst you're there, you know, there's certain positives and negatives that come with being shredded. All right, I'm going to call it shredded. Um, you know, it's, it's quite surreal to actually have been to actually know that I've actually been treated you know what I mean because a lot of people never get there I never thought I'd get there like legitimately shredded 5% um, body fat but but I did and it was it was a, a gradual process I took my time to get there and I I also I, I did it my own particular way and if you want to know exactly you know how many calories I consumed or how I structured my day, etc. Please go back in my video library and check out those. Today I'm going to talk about the physiological and the mental effects of being 5% body fat uh, were for me. Okay, this is an individual thing. Uh, some people, obviously, if you are an ectomorph naturally and you, you've pretty much lived your whole life at 5% body fat, then you're not going to uh, be affected in the way that I have. I'm a more heavy set guy, uh, definitely find it very easy to put on body fat. Um, I wouldn't say it's, it's easy to put on muscle, but it's, it's certainly challenging to lean out. And once I get to about 10% body fat, I can get down there relatively easily. Not feeling like I'm lethargic, not really feeling like I'm dieting that, that hard. That's 10%. But to go from 10 to 5 is a totally different ball game. It really is. There is no doubt that if you are 5% body fat, you're going to have to be sticking to certain protocols as far as nutrition definitely nutrition, not so much training. I mean, you can be 5% body fat and not, not train a day of your life. But for you to maintain that, there's going to have to be some sacrifices in some way, shape or form. And those are the kind of things that we're going to discuss today. So first of all, I want to actually start it off on a positive. I want to talk about the positives. I want to talk about the positives of, of being shredded, 5% body fat. And the obvious one is when you wake up in the morning and you go to the bathroom and you look in the mirror and you see your physique. You see a physique that is going to back up all of the sacrifice that you might have gone through the day before or that you felt like you've gone through or all of those weeks and weeks and months of dieting to get yourself to this point. When you are actually lean, okay, and a cheat meal doesn't blow you out and uh, you, know, you can actually see veins up your abs and things like that, honestly, to look at that every morning in the mirror is it's pretty fucking euphoric actually it's euphoric and it takes away any negative that you might be feeling at that time another positive it's about the way you look you know when you go in the gym okay could be a negative and a positive a negative would be that any other minute outside of that moment that you're in the gym with a pump or with somewhat of a pump you actually feel like you look small uh, skinny and and shit when you're in the gym you've got a pump going Okay, decent lighting, you feel great. You feel absolutely incredible. Because as we all know, the longer we're in this fitness industry, the longer we look at all these fitness models on, on Instagram and YouTube and stuff, the more we realize that one, lighting is, is huge. And two, a lot of these people Photoshop their photos. I mean, not only have they got filters on them to make every single shadow and every single line look better and more defined, but they can just straight out go and cheat literally go and use Photoshop to either make their bicep look bigger or their waist look smaller 
you know, it's, it's fucked up. It really is. But it's the way the industry is right now. And if you're oblivious to it, then I suppose the old saying goes, you know, what you don't know won't hurt you. So, so, you know, you feel, <laughs> you feel incredible in the morning. Uh, when you wake up, obviously the leanest you're going to look, you feel incredible in the gym. And the other time that I felt really incredible wasn't to do with how I looked. It was actually to do with, uh, you know, how hungry I felt, believe it or not. So when you intermittent fast, like I did, um, you'll find that, you know, there's certain periods in the day where you've just got to push through, you know, you're feeling those hunger pains, but you want to push through. And at the end of the day, in my head, I don't know about other competitors, but in my head, when I'm fasting, when I am hungry, for some reason, I'm actually, I'm, I'm extremely um, motivated at that point. Like that, that feeling of knowing I'm hungry, knowing I'm actually pushing through, uh, fuels me. It actually fuels me with motivation. And I tend to actually enjoy that feeling. I tend to try and push through. And I also tend to uh, become really clear mentally in those times. You know, once I stop, once I stop what I'm doing, uh, whether that be admin work, whether it be YouTube, editing, something like that, whether I, when I stop that and take time to eat my first meal, you know, I couldn't tell you what my production levels are going to be after that. But I can tell you that whilst fasting, from getting up to the point that I had my first meal, whilst I'm feeling hungry, fuck man, those times were some of the most productive and motivating times that I have. And I still have. You know, I've actually fasted today. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. I got up at seven. I have been extremely productive this morning because I know that I don't have to stop for anything. And I think that's probably what it is. So I tend to fast during the mornings in general, um, but I certainly use that as a tool uh, during this time to get to 5% body fat and also to maintain it. So, um, you know, there was, there was an eight week period there where I had to maintain 5% body fat between shows and intermittent fasting using that every day was not only good for my mental clarity and production and productivity, but also was was obviously good, you know, to, to reduce the amount of calories and keep me in shape. So those are some positives about being shredded, uh, being 5% body fat. Are there, you know, are there any more positives? I don't know. Obviously, the way you look and the way you feel when you're hungry, those are the two main ones. And that's those are the positives that you get every single day to keep your head in the game and to you know continue dieting or whatever you're getting to five percent body fat for whatever your five percent body fat for whatever you want to stay there for whatever you want to continue dieting for those positive and and and, and really euphoric moments throughout the day are going to help with that and they certainly helped for me so what i think we're going to do right now is i'm going to shut the camera off we're going to call this we're going to call this we're going to call this what were the po what are the positives of being 5% body fat what are the positives uh, yeah what are the positives of being 5% body fat I i'm not exactly sure what uh, what what i'm going to call this video but in the next one we're going to talk about the negatives so the truth the harsh truth about being 5% body fat the truth about being 5% body fat the worst things about being 5% body fat i'll get a title eventually uh, but that is a video I'm really keen to make, and I'm going to do it right now. So guys, please like the video if you've liked it. Subscribe for more. Check out www.majorkeyphysiques.com for all of your bodybuilding and fitness gear. It is my business, and um, I'm proud of it. So all your support is appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.